Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and for today's video, we are going to be finally setting up our Christmas tree, pulling out all of our Christmas decor and kind of sort through it, see what we've got and pretty much kind of start the holiday decorating, which I'm so excited for. So this year I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more intentional with my stuff and I didn't want to go shopping for more items because I do have three really big totes, almost four totes of Christmas decor. So I definitely don't need anything else, but I did want to kind of challenge myself this year and see if there was a way for me to reuse the things in a different way that wasn't almost the exact same as last year. Now, the one thing that I will probably be replicating is the fireplace with the bells. If you guys remember what that looked like last year, that is like my absolute favorite thing. The stockings will probably change. Anyways, I hope you guys stick around to see what we do today. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's hop right into it. have all of my wreaths and garlands. This one I think is from at home. I have two of those. And then if you guys remember last year, I put little blueberries on them, which I thought was really cute. So there's that. And then, yeah, I have a ton of garlands in here, as you guys can tell, look at that. Oh my God, there's so many. I think I have like 10 of them. Yeah, this entire box is full of these beautiful garlands that I got at uh, Walmart last year and they have some very similar ones this year. They actually look a lot more realistic than these So I will link those for you guys. So they're still available, but they look like that They're super super pretty and very realistic looking. They're very similar to like the real um, the real touch Norfolk ones, but obviously not it's like a like a wish.com version of them, but they're, you know, they're decent enough. And they were, I think like $17 a garland, which I thought was really good for the price. This year, like I said, they have some similar ones, but unfortunately I think those are like $24 each and they might be sold out already. But again, I'll link them for you guys. They might restock them for all I know. So you can find that in the description. And then I'll also link these guys right here, which are also super, super pretty. I really love the realistic look that they have. I also ordered some of the A Floral Real Touch ones. So I initially was gonna get them from Kirkland's. If you guys know, they're like literally the exact same thing, but I had a gift card and I meant to use it online. The gift card wasn't working, so I was like, okay, I'll just go in store and get it there. And they were in stock when I checked like a month ago. And then I went last week and completely out of stock, not available online, so I literally, missed my opportunity with that one which is it's sad because i have a gift card that i wanted to use so i would have saved a little bit more money as well but didn't end up happening so i waited too long so i ordered some a floral ones which are a little bit more expensive but i did find a 20 percent off coupon on that like coupon website that you see all the time and it actually worked so i'll link that for you guys and see if it works for you still but um definitely try and Try a couple if mine doesn't work. That way you guys can get that 20% off as well. Okay, so this one looks like it has everything that I'm looking for. So this is just a cutting board. <laughs> um, but all of my ornaments are in here. And there's also a lot of ornaments in this box right here. Boo. Uh-oh, are you okay? Boo. Okay, so in this bag, I have some really pretty, like, very light golden ornaments from Walmart, and they're super pretty. I think I'm gonna use them this year as well. They're so pretty. And then these ornaments I bought from Target, and I think they have very, very similar ones this year. I do wanna pick them up. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to with the kids, just because they're very destructive, especially this one. She's extremely destructive, worse than Carter. 
where me and my husband were saying that she is literally the reason why baby proofing exists because she is on a whole new level carter was not as destructive as her but anyways um these ornaments are so pretty and totally recommend picking these up um at target i don't know if they have these exact ones but um i will try and link the ones that they do have this year that are very very similar then i have my bells which like i said earlier i do want to reuse these on my fireplace so they just look like this these are from hobby lobby i don't think they have these anymore or I, think, I think they do they might i'll link them for you guys if i find them but they do have some beautiful ones that look like vintage bells that you'd see on Etsy at Michael's. So I will link that for you guys because that one is beautiful. I might grab that grab that one as well. And I think it's only like $20 with 50% off right now. So totally worth it to go pick that one up. It is so pretty. It has different shapes of bells and they just look so beautiful. So I have two of these bell garlands that I got from last year. I also have these beautiful golden pears from last year from at home. And I couldn't find these on their website when you guys were asking for the link. So I did see some similar ones on Amazon that I will link for you guys. And if they do have them this year on the at-home website, I will link these as well. But I love like the symbolism of Christmas rather than like, you know, having like signs out. And although I do love the signs, I'm not bashing it in any way. And um, I would love to have signs all over the place. I do love like the symbolism a little bit more where like a partridge in a pear tree and then like the golden pears. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's pretty much what I did last year and I'm hoping to go for that as well this year. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview just like of everything that's in here. So some of these things I'm probably gonna get rid of, like this guy, these napkins of course, because they're just not on my vibe anymore. I don't really do red as much, so I'm probably gonna get rid of these. I do wanna do some red ribbon, but just I don't think I would put these in my kitchen anymore. I might use them just for like, you know, for cleaning and stuff, I don't know. But anyways, if I don't, I probably just take it to donate. But I have these spells from Amazon. I'll make sure to link these for you guys. I have a couple of them, so make sure you guys snag these before they sell out, but they're beautiful and super inexpensive. And then these boxes right here are actually just fake presents. They look like that. Obviously, they're kind of falling apart already, but I'm probably gonna reuse them this year and just do different uh, gift wrap. But basically, last year, I had a lot of people bash me for doing this, which, you know, to each their own, of course, but as you guys know, I am an interior decorator, so when I do things like this, it doesn't mean that you guys should do it as well. Like, it wouldn't make sense for your normal not decorator person that's just decorating their home and getting ideas from me. That makes sense i if i wasn't a youtuber i wouldn't wrap fake gifts and put them under the tree but because i am i put it under there and they're not filled with anything because i take pictures i give you guys and i like ideas aesthetics and just the vibes of it a tree would never look complete without christmas presents under it that's why they're fake and that's why they're empty i had a lot of people freak out on me saying that it was a waste of wrapping paper that that was useless that they can't believe that i just wasted all that well i'm gonna say it is my money it is paper that i spent on so i'm not sure why you guys are so angry um but again just disclaimer and just to mention it if you guys have nothing nice to say i'm just going to remove your comments because i just I've had enough of it. I've been tolerating it all year and honestly, I'm just like at the point where I can't tolerate anymore and it is my channel so I get to decide what and what not to share and do with my channel. So anyways, I'm not trying to come off hostile, hostile or anything. Hopefully you guys understand. I just, I can't tolerate more neg negativity. I've gotten plenty of it from some other situations. I'm sure if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know what I'm talking about. But because I'm a decorator and I make ideas for you guys, that's why I do it, okay? I think we, we're on the same page, right? <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so they're fake and I'm probably gonna reuse them. I actually really like this vibe. I think I might just change the green ones um, and give you guys some other gift wrapping ideas and keep these because I do love the craft paper look with the black ribbon. This is so pretty. So I think I'm gonna keep this guy and just change the green ones to a different color. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then I also have these beautiful stems. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for, but they're really, really pretty. They look, you know, kind of fake, but they're so cute. I think this would be so beautiful in like a little vase and put them like on my built-in or something. I think that'd be cool. These are from Hobby Lobby. So I'll see if I can find them online for you guys. So some other stuff that I have, these right here are some green 
velvet pillow covers and these are from ikea they are so so pretty i did see one of you guys comment in my last video to do like a green and gold theme this year and i think that's what i'm going for because i already have all this stuff so i think i'm just gonna reuse it and obviously have some new things here and there but yeah so this is a very beautiful one. I love it. So I'll see if I can link some one, some similar ones on Amazon since I know some of you guys might not have an Ikea nearby. And then these stockings I have as well. So these are some faux fur ones. They're so beautiful. And I had a lot of questions about these last year, but I got these at Home Goods, so I couldn't find anything similar. But Walmart actually has these now, you guys. So I will link the ones from Walmart, and they're literally the exact same thing. So um, I will link those. And then I have these striped ones, which are very Scandinavian a little bit. Um, I do love them. I just don't think I'm going to use them this year. As I told you guys um, in my decor haul, I'm going to be doing the big chunky knit and then doing some different white ones with different designs to give like a vintage feel and look. So that's what I'm going to be doing this year and I'm probably going to skip on these. Although they're beautiful, I love them so much. I'm going to keep them. I'm just not going to use them. And then I have this really pretty skirt that I'm probably going to use for here. It has this really cute little faux fur like edge and really pretty detailing, which I love. And then I have these really pretty um, stocking holders. And I believe these are also from Walmart. I think it was two of them for like $7. So I have four of them and they look like that. So I just got like a pack of two. And then I also have these that are also from Walmart. I don't think I'm going to be using these this year, but they're just these really pretty um, bell bell ones and they pretty much just go like against your you know fireplace or whatever you want to hang it from or like a little ledge and then the stocking goes down there so as you guys can tell obviously this is just kind of like I'm pre-planning so this might not stay like this but as you guys can kind of get like a vibe for things I put the little spool thing right here and I took off the paper finally and look at that it's so cute so like this comes out so I can use it and then just put it back on here and I think that looks so cute and then the little reindeer right next to it so it looks like that and then of course I'm gonna probably put some other stuff around here but that's what I have right now and then I have a cute little threshold trees hanging up up here I don't know if I'm gonna keep them there because of the garland that's gonna be hanging here I kind of want to do a half garland just do like drape it on half of it that way it doesn't drown out the tree but we'll see how that works out. I have to like play around with it. And then over on this side, so I finally cleaned up my ofrenda because you know, it's already past those days. So I cleaned that up um, and put the console table right here that I was using for that. Um, so this is what the dining area is looking like right now. I moved my rug and then these chairs I found on Facebook Marketplace. I just love them. I didn't know that they were actually antiques. Um, the company, I can't remember what it's called, but it's under here and I guess they're still active. Um, it is, what does it say? Uh, Nichols and Stone. Yeah, Nichols and Stone. They, I think, are in Texas? No. In Massachusetts. Gardner, Massachusetts. Yep. So, I believe they're still active. My husband was looking them up. So I might try and see if they still sell these because I need one more. She only had five of them. She sold them for $50, you guys. All five for $50. And I was like, okay, I cannot pass on that. So um, I picked those up. And then this table I also found on Facebook Marketplace. But it was a lot darker. It was like this color. And I sanded it down all the way. It took me like three weeks to get it done because it would not sand. It was the biggest nightmare to do. Um, I still wasn't able to get in there. So you can see it's still a little bit of a different tone, but I think I'm actually gonna stain her that color because before it had a really like, really noticeable yellow undertone. You can kind of see it still here, how yellow it was. So that's pretty much what I removed. And then I did like a, a paint stain. So I watered down some like brown paint and I did that on top to kind of, um, remove that yellow yellow undertone that I had. So this is what it looks like right now. I love it because it has little drawers on the side, if you can see that. It's so pretty. So I think I'm just gonna stain it a little darker because I think it's still a little too scanty for me. And then I'm gonna stain this one as well. I don't know. I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it looks good like this with the chairs being a different color or if I should stain it a little bit darker? It's like, it's conflicting. I love it like this, but I also think it would look really good dark. 
but then I can't go back. So it's like, maybe I should just leave it <laughs> until I'm like 100% sure. So anyways, I need another chair on this side. I need to reach out and see if by any chance I can buy a, a second, uh, third chair from them for that side. But this is what we have going on. And then I need two dining chairs for the ends. And I'm thinking some like linen slip cover ones would be really pretty. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. And once I know what is right, then I will order them. Cause I don't wanna just order something random. Um, my poofs, I need a wash. And then I don't know where they're gonna go. Because you can tell I have this going on over here. Obviously it's a mess, but. Um, I'm either going to return those two chairs just because we're moving and it would be too much for us to carry. Uh, and then I can order them over there if I want to and then put these poofs right there or I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to figure it out. But yeah, so that is the situation. And then this candelabra, 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 this one is from Hearth and Hand. I don't think I shared it in my decor haul from last week because, um, I forgot, <laughs> but this one was $39.99. So beautiful. It's so, so pretty. And I think this is where I'm gonna put all of the candles. These are from Amazon. They're just some faux candles. They're so pretty. I broke one, unfortunately, but um, I will link those candles for you guys. I think they look really cute. Personally, I love real candles, so I think I'm just gonna do some real ones. But these are a great option for any of you guys that are afraid of candles, because I know, you know, some people just don't like to have them at all because they can burn the house, which makes total sense. Um, but yeah, so these are a great option. They're beautiful and they look really realistic. So I will link those for you. And then these are for my haul. I just have them sitting here. Kind of give me that vibe that I'm going for. And then the wreath that I said that was going to be like the center of, or like the main, you know, centerpiece, masterpiece of this entire decor thing. There she is in all her glory. She is beautiful. So that's what she looks like. Okay, and then moving on to my console table that's behind the couch. So this one, once again, also a Facebook Marketplace find. These blankets are really making this like area look so cluttered. I'm gonna move this because it's driving me nuts. But um, I've had this record player for a while. I just never pulled it out. I forgot about it. It was in the garage. I finally was at Target and then I saw like a uh, a record player for Taylor's new album. And I was like, oh my God, I have a record player. So um, I finally pulled it out and I also grabbed this Christmas one as well, which is so perfect for today. But I thought that she would be really cute to have on this console table here just to play in the background when I'm decorating or we're hanging out over here. And just like for the vibes, I think it's so cute. So I have this one, it's just from Amazon. Um, it has like this really pretty oak color, which I think is such a great contrast for this table. And then somewhere over here, I'm gonna have some more decor going on. So we'll see what we end up doing. And then for the Christmas tree, you guys, so, I was going to fluff it right now, but um, I remember last year when I did that, I cut my fingers up really, really bad. Like I got tons of micro cuts. So I ordered some gloves from Amazon. Those I won't get delivered until Friday. So I do have to wait on that. So we will fluff the tree up in my Christmas decorate with me. Um, and you guys will see how that process goes, how I fluff it, how I decorate it and all that good stuff. So. Definitely stay tuned for that video. And other than that, that's pretty much kind of what I'm doing right now. Just kind of decluttering and trying to get everything sorted out. I think I'm gonna hang the bells right now just to kind of keep adding to the Christmas, you know, to the vibes. So I'm going to move my tripod. I'm gonna set it right here and you guys can watch me hang that up real quick and kind of play around with the garland as well because I wanna see how that's gonna turn out. This is the one that I have. Look at how cute she is. It has like a little like thing right in the middle. So I'm gonna see how I can work with that. But I was thinking of hanging it kind of like 
sideways like this. I think that would be kind of cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? Can you even see that? <laughs> Let me move the camera a little bit. Okay, let's see if you guys can see that. I feel like it's a little... Obviously, I would have to fluff it up. I don't know, I feel like maybe it would just look pretty, like, completely draped over the top. But then if you were to add like, these guys on the opposite side... Kind of look pretty and then if you add the stocking holders for the stockings looks kind of cute right let me add another one like if i did that and i don't know this fluffy one Like, does that look okay? I mean, kind of, right? I kind of like it. Cause then like when you look that way, here, let me grab my camera and show you guys. It like doesn't take away from the Christmas tree in a way. You got me? Obviously the tree isn't like fluffed up so it looks super <laughs> see-through in there, but like you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> like, the idea is, is pretty good, but I just don't like how it looks. I want it to be on top, yeah. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I think I've decided. I don't like the draped half look. I might even go on Pinterest and see if, if some other people have like accomplished to do it some way that looks good, but right, as of right now, I don't necessarily like it. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up here. Probably going to um, clean up, do the dishes, and then give the kids baths and call it for a day, sit down, maybe do some organizing. I do wanna go to Home Goods and do and find some other stockings, like I told you guys in my last video. So I do wanna do that. And then other than that, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I did wanna show you guys and kind of like vlog the whole process of me decorating because I feel like I only share when it's already done and like kind of like a pre um pre pre-planned pre like decorate with me where it's already been decorated I take it down and then I pretend like I've already decorated or like I'm decorating for the first time so that you guys can see the process you know what's funny too is I still have Halloween decor outside so I'm th probably going to uh, put that away today so that the neighbors don't think I'm crazy that I have a Christmas tree through the window and a skeleton with pumpkins outside. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how this year is gonna turn out. Definitely a lot of green from what I can tell like already. So we'll see. And then I also have, if you guys, I showed you last year, I have these beaded garlands which i think is going to add that beautiful just rustic touch to everything so you can kind of like envision that do you guys see that oh yeah it's gonna look so pretty i think this year i'm going to focus on a lot of white ornaments to stand out from all of the green so it's going to be like a white christmas and yeah i am excited Excited to see how it's gonna turn out so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my decorating videos right bye